Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to load unreferenced assemblies on runtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the assemblies in this list view that con the um, assemblies will be loaded from this folder. Then when you press the button it will load the um, selected assembly and the form will show up in here. So we got a list view, a button, and the form is a NDI container. So you have to set this property to true. I'm going to add the stuff that we need to in this folder. So we need a config file. We need a base form. What do we need more? We need a interface i application or whatever you want to call it. Um I think this is enough to start with. Let's start off with the configuration file. The attribute needs to be serializable. public sub new um, the name as string type as string property name and we need one more property type so now we can set me dot name is equals name me dot type is equals type okay so this class is done let's save it now the base form will be if you say for example that this form needs to be also a MDI container then all the applications will be default MDI containers because this is the base form where they are created from so I'm going to set the maximize box to false you can do like a lot more like set the color um, change all the default names, the icons so now every form will have the maximize box disabled by default um, sub start um, base form okay property app as base form You don't have to do this, it's just because there was a problem in the designer. So, actually, all these are already done. So, what do we need here? When the button is pressed, something needs to happen. When the application loads, something needs to happen. Um, that's it at the moment so let's do first the load 
so I'm going to make a private um, bats as string is equals application dot started bats n apps I think I called it let's see yep apps so for main dot loads will be directory as new directory info import system dot io the paths for each um, app file as file info in directory dot get files dot dll dim config file as config file is equals load config file and this will be app file dot full name shows a error but that will be gone in a second generate method stop yes so what needs to happen now is it loaded the config file and now we need to create the list view item config file dot name width tag equals config file so now we can just do this to apps dot items dot add um, the config file loader will be let's see dim file stream um, file as new no file stream equals file dot open p one n config file mode dot open and we only need read access dim um, decoder as new binary for matter as new binary formatter this will be able to deserialize the config file and that's why we added the serializable attribute so we can do return cost type um, decoder dot t serialize the file stream to a configuration file so that's the basic loader to get all the applications in the directory but obviously if this file does not exist it will get a error and stuff like that 
so this is end of part one I'm going to upload I'm going to continue here with part two